Welcome to another episode of Best of Johnston County, brought to you by Breeden Law Office. Our host, Jonathan Breeden, an experienced family lawyer with a deep connection to the community, is ready to take you on a journey through the area that he has called home for over 20 years. Whether it's a deep dive into the love locals have for the county or unraveling the complexities of family law, Best of Johnston County presents an authentic slice of this unique community. Welcome to the very first introductory episode of the Best of Johnston County podcast. My name is Richard Matthews. I'm doing a special co-host session with Jonathan Breeden today. Jonathan, are you there? I am here, Richard. How are you? I am excellent. I'm glad to be here. Glad to be a part of this very first episode. What I want to start off with before we get too far into this is why don't you just tell me a little about who you are and who your clients are and what you do there in Johnston County. Yeah, Richard. My name is Jonathan Breeden. I am a family law attorney here in Johnston County at the 4042 intersection. I have a staff of about 11 people, some here based in Johnston County and some in Mexico and El Salvador. I think people find that amazing that a Johnston County law firm has short employees, but we do have those. I've been here at the intersection here of 4042 since October of 2000. I graduated from law school at Campbell uh, when Campbell was still in Bowie's Creek. Now the law school, of course, is in downtown Raleigh next to the state capitol. But back then it was in Bowie's Creek and I graduated from there in 2000 and I came right here and started my own practice. And I've been right here at this intersection ever since then. So you've been practicing the family law there for 23 years already? I have, and we're getting ready to have a, another anniversary here on October 1st, and then we'll be moving into our 24th year. And we do a little bit of, we do a little bit of everything here. We, we do anything that relates to the family. So we do divorces, child custody, uh, child support, alimony, post-separation support, equal distribution of division of property. We also do guardianships, wills, powers of attorney. So anything that affects your family, we help people with. Um, we do not do real estate closings um, or bankruptcies or personal injury or any of that kind of stuff, um, but we mainly focus on family law and that's pretty much been our focus since we started. We currently have four associate attorneys working with me. So we have five attorneys total and we have five administrative staff, paralegals, and we have some people to help us on the phones. So we've been growing really fast. We've been very blessed to be here in Johnston County for this time. And we look forward to moving forward in the future here. A lot of great things happening here right now. The growth, of course, is exponential in the area, as with the business. And so we're just glad to be a part of it and very thankful to the citizens of Johnston County that have allowed us to make a living here for the last 23 years. Absolutely. And so here's my question for you. As a family law practice who works with families all over Johnston County, why start a podcast called The Best of Johnston County? What is your plan with this podcast and why are you starting it? You know, I want this podcast to promote the community of Johnston County. This county has been so good to me and its citizens have been so good to me. I thought, why not start a podcast to promote other businesses, community leaders, interesting citizens of the area to give them a platform to tell a little bit about their story. I've been very fortunate to build this practice to a level to where I can tell my story in a lot of different formats through web, video. I've got a lot of different ways to share my story, but a lot of small businesses do not have the same opportunity to share their story. And their stories are as good or better than mine. And so my thought was, why not start something use our time and resources to do something to promote other people in the community uh, and let other people know why living in Johnston County is so great and let them tell people why they love living in Johnston County and just create a community conversation between me and the guests that come on to the program and just sort of have fun with it. This is not about Jonathan Breeden or Breeden Law. It's really about this community and all the great things that are going on in it. There's a ton of people that have moved here in the last 20 years. I mean, this area has really exploded and continues to explode. And I'm hoping that this podcast will be found by, you know, residents that have been here forever or brand new residents. And it'll be a way to help them educate themselves about the businesses and some of the resources that are available to them in their new county. The issues a lot of times for businesses in Johnston County, particularly the ones right here in Western Johnston County, where I'm at is 
that the majority of the citizens that live here drive to Raleigh and go to work every day. And they often shop in Raleigh and they don't realize that a lot of the advantages, businesses, those same businesses, those same services can be gotten here in Johnson County. And they're just not aware of them. And so part of this is to bring some awareness of what businesses and what resources are actually available to them closer to home here in Western Johnson County and where they don't have to drive to Raleigh or Durham or Chapel Hill to get a lot of the things that are right here. And I don't think a lot of people are aware of how many great businesses, restaurants, and community organizations actually are right here in Western Johnson County. And whatever they need to support them or their families, whether they be their interests, sports, restaurants, food, entertainment, all of that stuff can be found here and they don't have to go there. And so part of this podcast is to help educate the public about the resources that are here in Johnston County. Absolutely. Have family law questions? Need guidance to navigate legal challenges? The compassionate team at Breeden Law Office is here to help. Visit us at www.breedenfirm.com for practical advice, resources, or to book a consultation. Remember, when life gets messy, you don't have to face it alone. So it's kind of a uh, rising tide raises all ships kind of podcast where you're looking to just uplift the entire community and become a resource for the community of Johnson County. Yes. And yes. And if hopefully if people see the podcast and they have a question about something, one of the guests said, or question about something they mentioned, uh, they can reach out to me. Of course, they'll be able to reach out to the guest. We'll make sure that we um, promote this podcast across all social media outlets. And we'll also be tagging the guest and their businesses with their social media presence as well, so that their customers or future customers will know how to find them and how to get up with them as well. And right, right. if everybody grows, if the guest on this podcast gets something out of it and you know this business grows because of it, great. But really, it's really a, gonna be, I see it as a community resource and I'm looking forward to it. I mean, I've not been this excited about a new project in a really long time. And I think it's going to be great. I don't know that I'll be the greatest podcast guest that there ever was or host that there ever was, but I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be, uh, hopefully it's going to be entertaining and educational to everybody that listens. Absolutely. So where are you guys going to, where are they going to be able to find this podcast? I assume you'll have it on all the major, major networks like iTunes and, and your website and, and YouTube and whatnot. Is there any, any website in particular that you want to make sure people are aware of to find these episodes that come out? Yeah, I mean, the episodes will be in whole, will be on YouTube. They will also be on our website at breedandfirm.com. That is B as in boy, R as in Richard, E as in Ernie, E as in Ernie, D as in David, E as in Ernie, and N as in Nancy, firm.com. And then it'll be across all of our social media platforms at Breed and Law NC for Twitter, now X. Facebook, Breeden Law Office will be on LinkedIn at Jonathan Breeden and the Breeden Law Office will be on both of those LinkedIn platforms, I believe. We're also going to be on Instagram and TikTok. So this podcast is going to be easily found. We're going to also edit up small bits of it and drop sound bites across different social media platforms almost every day once we get this thing up and going and we have the content. So if you happen to see something that looks interesting, you want to see the rest of it, you'll easily be able to find that too. Okay, now here's another question I have for you, which is you may not be prepared for, but that's all right. This could be a community podcast, which means there's businesses and people in town that your listeners might want to make sure they get featured. Can they reach out to you and be like, hey, I've got a guest that, that I think you should invite on the podcast? And if so, where should they do that? Yes, I've, I am open to any and all people that might want to be a guest that we think might be interesting for the citizens of Johnson County or anybody that listens to this podcast. They can reach out to us through our website at breedingfirm.com. They can call us at 919-661-4970, or they can email me at Jonathan, J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N at breedinglaw.com. Awesome. So, you know, if, if you're in the community and you think you there's a business or a restaurant or a community project that you think should be on the podcast, you can reach out to Jonathan and do that. Is there any other uh, final thoughts you want to leave on this introductory episode about what your plans are or anything for your guests? Or do you want to just kick them off to episode number one where you'll first, your first interview will be? 
I, we'll, we're going to see how this goes. I hope that the, everybody will like and share the podcast that they find it interesting and that they will, you know, comment and give us five stars and give us feedback. This is going to be a work in progress. And I'm sure that by the time we get to episode 25 or 30, it won't look exactly like episode zero or episode one. And we are definitely open to feedback. We are not professionals at this. This is something that we're going to do for fun. And I hope everybody finds it as enjoyable, listen to and watch as we're going to have in bringing it to them every week. Awesome. Thank you very much for uh, hopping on and doing this brief little introduction, Jonathan. I appreciate it. And I know that the citizens of Johnson County will be blessed by your guys' efforts here. So I look forward to seeing this podcast come to fruition. And uh, again, thank you for your time. Thank you. That's the end of today's episode of Best of Johnston County, a show brought to you by the trusted team at Breeden Law Office. We thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to sharing more interesting facets of this community next week. Every story, every viewpoint adds another thread to the rich tapestry of Johnston County. If the legal aspects highlighted raise some questions, help is just around the corner at www.breedenfirm.com.